everyone. Welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda. Today I am in the garden and I am about to plant some lettuce and uh, some bok choy in my Dollar Tree stackable. As you can see, the uh, Dollar Tree stackable took some uh, damage uh, during the snowstorm. And so I have pulled a lot of the plants out that were in here. And so what I plan to do is to just uh, slightly amend my soil because the soil level is pretty high in these uh, stackables, but I wanted to add some more soil in here that I have added some amendments to. So what I have here is some potting mix that I have made up and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this potting mix to some of the areas. Now, right here, there was some um, pansies had been planted right here. And I have uh, moistened this soil, but it seems some areas are still dry. I use some peat moss, some um, vermiculite, some perlite, and some worm castings to mix this mix up. And so I'm just going to add some of this into these containers. And I have my water over here, so if I need to, I can um, moisten this soil some more. But you all know that sometimes that peat is kind of hard to moisten. Uh, if you don't go ahead and moisten it before you put it into your containers. So I'm dipping over here. I have a big tote over here. I'm kind of um, feeling like I'm in a maze over here in this area. And then I was having a problem uh, dodging the sun because it's in the evening so y'all know how that goes sometimes you're able to get out in the morning but sometimes when you have different things that you have to take care of then you might not be able to start until the evening but I've been out here for some hours now but it's just that I was doing other things and so now I'm going to go ahead and plant this lettuce. So now I have my areas all filled with some uh, potting mix. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to moisten this soil some more because it looks pretty dry in some areas. But it had been moistened, but it just still is sort of dry. Some spots were still dry, so I'm going to just add some more water. Having to keep the eye out for my seeds because I got my seeds over here on the table, so I bought all of my lettuce seeds out because I wasn't sure which ones I was going to use, but I do know that I'm going to be planting some of the uh, purple lady choy. It's one that I'm going to go ahead and make a label for and there were some flowers up here I'm gonna go ahead and put the purple lady chore right here and I'm going to add in some of my Joe's organic I meant to add this into my potting mix when I made it up. But I did not, so it's okay that it was getting added in now. Okay, so now all those that I'm going to be planting up has some dope organic potting mix. Um, not potting mix, granular plant food in it. And I'm going to go ahead and plant up my purple lady soy. Okay, so this is a small container. I'm just going to sprinkle a few seeds in here. I'm going to pat them down. And 
And this is just to help to make sure that I get some more food because, you know, I did have some lettuces planted in this area. So the next one, oh, I didn't show you all that purple lady choy. Let me show you all that. It is such a beautiful vegetable. That's the purple lady choy, bok choy. So this is the tat soy. In some of these spaces, I'm thinking that the pansies are probably going to come back. But just in case they don't, I would not be reserving their spot. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pour some of these seeds right here. The top soy. And there's no problem that I'm putting it in the same place where I had the pansies because pansies are edible. So in case a uh, pansy it starts to grow back and it gets mixed in, it won't be any harm done. And what I mean is, you know, I might not want to eat exactly, you know, just eat pansies, but it would be different if I was planting this with some uh, fox gloves or some other flower like that that are toxic. So that was the tot soy. You need to push these down there a little bit more. I don't want the wind to blow them out. Okay, so the, now I'm going to start on my lettuces. And the next one I have is a butter crunch lettuce. I'm going to put it right here. I don't know if it's easier for me to put these to sprinkle. I think it's probably best for me to sprinkle it in into the uh, pot because I mean into my hand, then put them in the pot because when I put my hand underneath this pot just now, some uh, water dripped in my hand. So if I had my seed packet underneath there, that means the water would be dripping into my seed packet, and we don't want that. So we have the butter crunch lettuce is planted right there. And the next one is, okay, I didn't show you all the butter crunch either. This is the butter crunch lettuce. This is what it looks like. The next one is a flashy butter gem. It looks similar to butter crunch. The leaves does, but it just has a, a different color on it. So we're going to go ahead and plant those. This will be the first time I've ever had that. And the butter crunch is, I think, my favorite lettuce. Sprinkle them right there. And that was a flashy butter gem. Yeah, it is a wonderful feeling when you can come out to your garden and harvest some lettuce and uh, have a salad and not have to uh, go out for a salad. I know people who go out for salads. Because they love salads, but it is so easy to grow your lettuce in your own yard if you have the, the means to do it. Everybody may not have the stuff to uh, do it, and I understand. Okay, the next one I'm going to plant, I'm going to plant it right here. And it is going to be the Chadwick's Rodent. I always wonder though why the lettuce and the tomatoes don't usually 
grow at the same time. Cause she always, I always want some tomatoes in my salad and you have to go to the store and get some of those. And it's hard to find a delicious tomato in the winter or fall, as, you know, for that matter. Okay, so that was the Chadwick's. Next one is the Bronze Beauty, and it is, it's beautiful. If I get this one to grow, this will be the first time I've had it also. I'm going to plant it right here. I lowered my camera some. It still seems like it's up a little too high. Okay, so those seeds, I'm just sprinkling those seeds in. And that was the Bronze Beauty. Next one has a strange name. It's called the Devil's Ear. I'm gonna put it right here in this green container. And all the seeds look similar. And this one was my free seed, and it is called a uh, Yetaku. Baker's Creek is good about sending out some free packets. One thing I really like about their seeds also, and then also the fact that they have some beautiful pictures on the packet to show you what your, your food is supposed to look like that you planted. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take these down here and sprinkle. No, I'm not, I thought about the water. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of my hand and put them down here, throw those in. So I hope that you all are getting started planting some of your uh, vegetables that you're going to be having for your spring garden. I know some of you still probably are planting uh, some of your fall plants also. This one is a iceberg lettuce. It's a head lettuce. I'm not gonna plant it right here. I'm gonna put it somewhere else where it can have more room and I'm gonna plant and see if there is some in here. And that packet is empty. We're going to plant some more arugula. We were really enjoying the arugula. And the arugula perished in the storm. So I'm just going to add some more. See if I can find an empty container. Okay, this one right here is empty. Y'all can see that. That is the arugula. Okay, so we still have a couple more down here. I don't have a spoon in it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out, losing some of my soil. Let's see what other seeds we have. That is another arugula. 
got the uh, Simpson lettuce. I'm going to go ahead and plant some of these seeds. And this is just one I got from my local seed store. I don't have a picture or anything, but it has a lot of seeds. Go ahead and sprinkle some of those. Simpson is right here. Okay, so I have another one over here. I think I may have two more. Let me put the camera back so that you all can see them. So I have one right here. And I think there's another one on the other side. So let's see if we can get those two planted up. I have some... I got a lot of more seeds left for you all. So we can be, we can plant all of these. Okay, this one is called Endeth. It is a green rough. I like the Endeth. Yeah. Some of those. Okay, that other one has already been filled. So let me make a label for my Endeth and we're going to go to the other side. I just want you all to see, some of you who are new to gardening, I want you to see how easy it is to go ahead and plant your lettuces. Because I have planted about 12 different varieties of lettuce already. And then... I see that I did skip some. And this is, I think this is a pansy. I guess I'll leave this one since these pansies look so green and look like they're fine. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that because those will fill out soon. I don't want to have my lettuce mixed in with that. But some of the other ones that I put the lettuce in were some that were looking sparse. Like they may not, or they may or may not uh, come back. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pop some in here also so we can stay on this side for a few more minutes because the sun is very bright. It's getting ready to set. And I am going to add in some plant. This is the uh, Celtis, the Chinese lettuce. I'm going to plant it in another area because it grows really fast, gets really big. It will be too big for this container. I'm going to put it somewhere else. And also the romaine, it will be too big for this. I don't know. Let's see. I could just harvest the romaine when it's really small and have some up here at the top. That'll be not only a good plant to have there, it will also be pretty. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plant some romaine at the top. Might as well get the other side also. So we'll have romaine popping out the top. That's probably a lot of seeds to put up there, but once it starts germinating, we'll, we can thin it out. I always thin it. Okay, now the next one I have is the, I don't know, it may be empty. But I'll show it to you even if it's empty, what it looks like. This was another one, my free seeds, and this was the Merlot lettuce. It's a beautiful lettuce. I still have some of that growing over in this container, I think, in this raised bed. We'll look and see if it's still okay, because I don't know if I checked on it. We'll, we'll check it out and see if we still got this. And this one is called a rock. And it's a, I think it's a lettuce. I've never grown this before. It was real pretty. So I ordered it and it had, it said that it was um, very tasty. 
yeah, it is, it's a vibrant relative of spinach. And so that is why I got it. And the fact that it is purple or pinkish, but I think that it has that um, so cyan. I wanted to uh, plant some of those. So I'm going to put some of these in whichever container I have that is empty. I have one over here that is empty. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop some in. I still have more. I have more containers than one that that's empty. So I'm going to put, uh, make a label for this. And then we're going to I'm going to plant some, I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with it, so I'm not going to plant it somewhere else. I think I'm just going to go ahead, have it right here, and become more familiar with it, see how it does, how it grows, and before I go and use another container for that. Because I really, really have to plant, have to plant some um, Swiss chard. So this is the O-Rock. And I cannot find any more of my red Swiss chard. Although I still have some that is growing over here. We'll check on that also. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. And now I'm going to... Um, I still have some containers over here that are empty. And so we'll plant those up later. But I just wanted to show you all how simple and fast it is. You can plant some lettuce. You can get some more food growing even after you have uh, lost food. You know, you just have to just get back on it, get those seeds planted back up. And uh, in these cases, you, you want to know which seed are going to uh, be fast. You, well, you want to know the, the time, of the amount of time that it's going to take from the planting of the seed to the time of the harvest, especially in times like when you're trying to get your plants out for your next growing season, because you don't want to plant something. It'll be fine what I'm putting here, this lettuce, because once it warms up, this lettuce is going to bolt, and I'm going to have to get it out anyway. But some things, if you want to plant in in your garden, and you're uh, trying to get something that's going to, um, say for instance, take 120 days. You know, from seed to harvest, it's going to take 120 days. Well, you want to be careful about putting things like that in your garden, especially when you're preparing for your spring season. You don't want to have something that's taking up one of your big garden spaces that's going to take 120 days because that's going to well, run well into the summer and the time that you want to go ahead and start planting your tomatoes, your uh, cucumbers, your peppers. You want to start getting those in the garden. So you don't want anything that's going to take that long. You want to start planting things in the bigger spaces. If you got a small space like this that you're wanting to put something that it's not going to matter, it's not going to take up a lot of space, but if it's something that you're going to need your space, like a whole raised bed or your whole big garden space, or if you don't just have enough space as it is, you don't want to have something in there going to take up a lot of room and a lot of your time. So just be careful about that. And I am going to get these put up safely. Cause I'm not gonna plant any more of this. So I'm gonna get this put up and then we're gonna check out some of these beds. Okay, this is the Merlot lettuce that I wanted to check out. So it looks like it is gonna be okay. So we will just keep an eye on that. I still can come in here and remove some of these uh, stems off. Of, just take the tops off. And they'll continue to grow. This cabbage still looks really good. And so does this one. I'm keeping an eye on them because, as I said, sometimes these uh, plants will look okay. And then they'll just start uh, looking bad after you know a few days so it's just good to keep an eye on them and you'll real you'll see the, the uh, true story in a few days okay here are my swiss chard that i have left so i'm gonna have to treat them with some uh fish emulsion so that they can go ahead and start looking healthy again and i'll probably pull some of some more of these leaves and take them and give them to the chickens okay this cold robbie 
has some leaves on it that are looking pretty bad. I'm just gonna remove some of those leaves. Kohlrabi itself looks pretty good down in there. This one here is ready to be harvested. I think I'll take that one. I'm very pleased with the way that this celery is looking. And I told you all, this is one of the celeries that I uh, got from the store and planted here. And it is doing fine. Still got some broccoli. Some that can be harvested. Some of these side shoots can be harvested. Here's another broccoli that's looking real good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and harvest this kohlrabi. It's not that big. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this one in. And I think I'm going to need another one to go with this one, y'all. Let's go ahead and see if I find another one. Okay, so I got me some kohlrabis right here, and I'm going to harvest this rutabaga also. Okay, so there is a white kohlrabi down here also. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it. It has a nice bulb on it. So this is my harvest for today. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this video and that you'll give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed. Go ahead and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.